covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Having completed its first human launch, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk says the company is now focusing on developing its next generation spacecraft, Starship. A couple weeks back, NASA and SpaceX successfully launched astronauts from U.S. soil for the first time in almost a decade. According to an internal email sent to staff, Musk said that the development on Starship is now the primary focus for the company, alongside the safe return of the Crew Dragon from the International Space Station. Starship was unveiled last September and is designed to carry a crew and cargo to the Moon, Mars, or anywhere else in the solar system, according to the billionaire. Musk's intention is to make the spaceflight vehicles uh, as reusable as planes. Four years ago, the billionaire outlined his vision of building a colony on Mars in our lifetimes, with the first rocket propelling humans to the red planet by 2025. For many years, the company used an image of the Martian surface being terraformed, turned Earth-like, in his promotional material. However, a NASA-sponsored spa- study published in 2018 dismissed these plans as impossible with today's technology. Last year, Musk tweeted he believed it was possible to make a self-sustaining city on Mars by 2050 if we start in five years. According to SpaceX's most recent detailed plans published in 2016, there are two phases for the first human transmissions as part of a programming to colonize Mars. The first will take place in 2022 when at least two Starship rockets will land on Mars. These will be unmanned spacecraft, but containing drones and robots, which will confirm whether there are sufficient resources of water on the planet and check for any geographic risks. The second phase will start in 2024 when another pair of Starship spacecraft will land on Mars with the first astronauts. These spacecraft will bring equipment and supplies, as well as a number of production plants for ongoing life on the planet, as well as develop a base of operations. Separately, the successful mission for NASA has given the company a boost ahead of the U.S. Space Agency's new moon landing program, which will return humans to the moon by 2024 and lay the groundwork for a manned mission to Mars. NASA's new Artemis program is named after the mythological sister of Apollo, the first moon mission's namesake, and is intended to fly the first woman to the moon. The Artemis program will be used as a way to develop something called the Lunar Gateway, essentially a version of the ISS but orbiting the Moon, allowing it to be used as a stepping stone for missions destined for Mars. NASA has given SpaceX and Blue Origin the nod to develop its new lunar landers, which will take the first woman and the next man to the surface of the Moon.